People smuggling is fast becoming the crime of the future. It's now as lucrative as the drugs trade, and in the UK it's worth over £250 million per year. This market in human misery is dominated by the ruthless Chinese gangs, the infamous triads and snakeheads. They will suddenly burst in a few people with machetes and uh, just cut you up. Not kill you, cut you up. From the isolated villages of China to the streets of Britain, this is the story of these gangs who smuggle tens of thousands of people into the UK every year, the police who try to catch them, and the desperate people caught in their criminal web. I'm Raggy Omar and I'm on a journey, crisscrossing the whole country, from Aberdeen to Southampton, London to Liverpool. And I want to understand the violent gangs, the high-tech fraudsters, and the sophisticated criminal gangs that now make up Britain's new underworld. Over 35,000 Chinese people are smuggled into Britain every year. Exploited as cheap labour, they work in our restaurants, they pick our crops and they mend our clothes. They are smuggled into this country by ruthless Chinese triad and snakehead gangs. It's a highly secretive world and we only glimpse its true scale when things go wrong. Triad gangs were behind two of the most horrific British tragedies of recent times. The deaths of 23 cockle pickers at Morecambe and 58 people in a truck at Dover. I will revisit these crime scenes to bring you the real stories behind the tragedies. I'll speak to a former triad gang boss. And I will uncover the story of one of the most notorious snakehead gang leaders in the UK. A woman called Sister Ping. In the tiny seaside town of Morecambe, police received this desperate and garbled 999 call. It signals the start of one of the most tragic rescue operations in recent times. Six miles out on the treacherous sands, 24 Chinese cockle pickers are trapped by the inrushing spring tide. A huge rescue operation is mounted and the police helicopter records the unfolding drama on an infrared camera. Rescue 128, this is Liverpool Coast Guard. Yes, you're loud and clear also, over. Only one Chinese worker is pulled from the freezing water alive. Over the next few days, 21 bodies are recovered from the bay. But two are never found. Like most other people, when I first heard about the deaths of the Chinese cockle pickers at Morecambe Bay, I just presumed it was a tragic accident. I had absolutely no idea that it was linked to the Chinese criminal underworld and the sinister trade in people smuggling. These are the faces of some of the people who drowned in Morecambe Bay. But it was this man, who died with them, who proved the starting point for an investigation that led police into the heart of one of the most secretive and sinister gangs in the world. Mick Gradwell headed the investigation. Tian Long is somebody who had been in the country for seven or eight years. He got 30 or so different aliases. A very powerful, kind of heavily built uh, man. And he definitely had connections to triad gangs. But who are the triads? What were they doing in a sleepy seaside town in North England? And how were they involved in this gruesome tragedy? I managed to track down a former triad gang boss who's agreed to talk to me about one of the most powerful and feared criminal organizations in the world. 
The man I'm about to meet has spent 10 years in a British prison for crimes including violence and extortion he committed as a high-ranking triad leader. He has never spoken on television before. He says he found God in prison and has now become an Anglican priest. Who are the triads? Well, the triads were, how shall I put, the equivalent of the mafias. But the origin of it comes from China. They are very secretive and uh, they are very tough and very, they can be very violent. The triads are the most secretive of all the gangs I have come across. It's estimated they are smuggling over 35,000 people into Britain every year. That's almost 100 every single day. The gangs operate so covertly that you only hear about them when something goes wrong, like in Morecambe. But terrifyingly, our ex-triad claims they are operating everywhere in Britain. You'll find them in, in London, in Liverpool, in Manchester, in Birmingham, in Glasgow, in Edinburgh, you know, All the and in cities. big cities, yes. How do you become a triad member then? Do you get recruited? Do you, you, is it, do you have to come from a certain area? You get invited like the Masonic Society. So they have their own hand signs? Yes. Secret handshake that you can test a person. Could you show me? You know, you tap, tap. If they reply, that right. means they are connected. Right. During my conversation with Kim Go, I learnt that being a triad, like the Italian Mafia, is a way of life. He told me that they have 36 rules which govern how each member should behave. First one is you do not betray your brothers. Back in Morecambe Bay, Mick Gradwell was coming up against this first rule, and nobody would speak to him. The gang masters had threatened the witnesses and said, don't identify who the gang leaders are. In fact, they were instructed to blame two of the deceased. It's this culture of silence which is the major obstacle for the police investigating people smuggling rings. It was not until Mick's team raided the houses where the victims had been staying that they managed to get any leads. Inside, they found that the Chinese immigrants were living in the most appalling conditions. This small four-roomed flat, at different times, up to 35 people were staying in the flat. In the flats, the police uncovered evidence, written in notebooks belonging to the dead workers, that linked one of the dead, Qian Long, a known triad member, to this man, Ling Yang Reng. He just looks like a, a clean living student, but he's the one who ran the whole organization. Ling Yan Reng was convicted on 21 counts of manslaughter and sentenced to 14 years in prison. What the police investigation into the death at Morecambe revealed was how massive and organized the people smuggling operation in Britain is. After months of painstaking work, the detectives discovered an incredible web of international crime in which triads were working with Chinese people smuggling gangs known as snakeheads to bring tens of thousands of illegal immigrants into the UK. The immigrants would pay as much as £16,000 each to the gangs to be brought here and then when they arrived, they were further exploited by the gangs for cheap labour. What we found was that um there was a large number of people being trafficked into the country and they'd start off in London and then the organisation would move into where the economic opportunities were and Lin Liang Ren's organisation of Cockling was just one of these. What exactly is the relationship between the triads and snakeheads? They are part of the triads, basically, in a sense, that uh, they're members of triads, okay, of triad families and uh, they are the one who would organize smuggling of people out. The trafficking of illegal Chinese immigrants into Britain is worth a staggering quarter of a billion pounds a year. I've been put in touch with a woman who was smuggled into the UK from China by a snakehead gang. She is now in hiding and is terrified for her life. She's only agreed to be interviewed if we keep her identity a secret. Because they are too scared, too scared. They are 
，动不动都说嗯嗯割割脚筋啊，什么割这个脚筋啊什么的。他说嗯，叫你死就你就死啊，因为舌头很厉害，查了招啊，很容易查到嘛。There are tens of thousands of illegal Chinese immigrants working in our shadow economy. They have been found doing menial jobs across the whole of the UK, from picking crops in Norfolk to processing fish in Scotland and cutting daffodils in Cornwall. I've discovered that once here, these illegal workers can be paid as little as one pound a day for the jobs they do, and incredibly, from this, they are expected to pay off their debts to the snakehead gangs who smuggled them here. Tens of millions of pounds can be made by these gangs, and as I was about to learn, one of the most ruthless and terrifying snakehead bosses to ever operate in the UK was a woman called Sister Ping. I'm investigating the mysterious world of the Chinese triad and snakehead people smuggling gangs. In popular imagination, it's a world of martial arts and flying daggers. In fact, the truth is much more terrifying. The gangs operate through subtle fear and intimidation that is hidden within the Chinese community. And it's only when things go badly wrong that we glimpse the true scale of this deadly trade in human cargo that's going on right under our noses. <laughs> 